Disturbances broke out in Freeman Street minutes after the end of the game. Several windows were smashed, causing hundreds of pounds of damage. Four police cars were damaged by bricks, and at one stage, police horses were stoned. Nine people were arrested, and four appeared in court this morning. That end to a disappointing season for them. But Hull, their Humberside neighbours, now should survive. Nearly 7,000 fans turned up to see Hull seal Grimsby's fate. It was a pity so much hinged on this tremendous game. The home side set the early pace, Ian Walsh going close at the end of this raid. Another Grimsby opening, Cummings cross to the far post and again Walsh unlucky with a splendid effort just too high under real pressure from McDermott. But Grimsby did take the lead after a neat flick on by Scott McGarvey, Walsh bravely in to beat Tony Norman. Grimsby so nearly went two up, but Tony Norman's brilliant save kept Hull in the game, and probably in Division 2. Hull fought hard to get back on terms. Dyer and Askew combined here, but Prudhoe was in fine form for Grimsby, denying Jobson. In the second half, another neat Grimsby raid, but Hull weathered the storm. But then Hull equalised from this corner. Moore wins the ball, but Saddle gets the vital header. Hull took the lead minutes later. Saville again is involved in the start. And the finish. Grimsby rallied with real spirit and 80 minutes from the end equalised an own goal, the ball hitting number four Jobson on the way in. One last Grimsby effort, but Norman saves. Grimsby face Division 3 next season, Hull have to wait until Saturday for their fate to be decided. Back, Mombazo. Thank <laughs> you.